the number one reason is I just didn't feel a connection with God as a Catholic. It didn't really feel like worship. You go to church on Sunday when you want. You don't really necessarily read the Bible as something that's really told and specified to you. You don't dress any different. You party, you drink, you eat whatever you want. There's no real guidance in a lifestyle. And I found that to be, it made me feel disconnected with God. For me, it was more the concept of God. Um, with Catholicism, you have a lot of intermediaries, maybe more than other Christian sects. And um, I loved the, the view of God and what God is and who God is and what He commands of you in Islam. It's so head on, straightforward, me to do, you to him, and it's, uh, you know, praising before you ask him for stuff, you ask him for stuff in certain ways and in any way. And, you pray all the time, and everything you do starts with Him, in, in things that I would have never thought of before, like eating and sleeping, and there's something for every single part of life. I feel sometimes clashes, but for the most part, I notice that family orientation, especially on um, being in the Dominican Republic, family values are actually stressed more than one would think, um, and in Islam, definitely family first, you know, parents, um, mother and then mo and then mother and then mother and then father, like Islam says. Um, and in Hispanic culture, it's pretty much you know family first, and I want to please my parents. And pretty much universal concept. I would have to say the number one thing in terms of from a culture standpoint is passion. Mm -hmm. You know, I myself find that my culture influences my ability to have a closer passion in my lifestyle as a Muslim woman, and. Again, also like Kayleen said, the family connection, which is very stressed and the gatherings and being together and the sisters all together. So it definitely brings us all together as we would when we were in any Latin American culture. I feel empowered by so many levels, even the more modestly I dress, it does not in any way signify my level of empowerment or anything. If anything, I feel more empowered to focus on what's in my mind and what comes out of my mouth and condition my own thinking first and foremost. And I feel like now, you know, concentrating on myself, it's like I'm representing a higher, you know, version of myself with this focus in life.